now. Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Digimon Adventure Anno Tamer. Looks like we are ready to go to what I think final area of the game. Let's head off there. We're good to go. We got pretty much, I think we have a full inventory. We're kind of low on our meat, but I'm not too, too worried about that. So actually, you know, let's go back. I'm actually, I, I think, I think I do need some stuff. So let's go back. I think what I'll do is I will definitely buy a meat all if I can. Um, do you have new items? They don't have a meat all. Well, that's a shame. Uh, in that case, let's buy a big meat. Let's at least buy one more. Because I feel like that's a good thing to have. And our more important things are the plugins. So that we can heal. Sell and come back. Okay, so we got some... It, or I did sell those chips, so... We should be pretty good, uh, honestly. Okay. Uh, actually, can we increase our hard drive size just at the end here? 15k. At least let's see if we can go get some more Digimon here. I mean, we're not going to use them, but hey! Let's see what we got. Yeah, Digimon, let's see here. Some of the ones that we got are... Oh, look at all of them. We got a lot now. We got Minotaurmon, Musayamon, Snaimon, Yanmamon. Let's get Musayamon. He's cool. Look at that dude. He's a samurai. We're gonna call him... Greg? Welcome to the team, Greg. Okay. Let's see here. Let's get ourselves a... Uh, that's fine for now. <laughs> I just wanted Greg. Alright, um... Do you guys have anything to say? The Tuskmon and Crabmon get together well. Okay, Tusk and Crab got it. Oh, one more leaf. In order to get all the variable moves, there are three Digimon that you must get. Beedramon, Chimeramon, and Machindramon. Really? Okay, well, we got Vidramon. And then Chimeramon and Machindramon, huh? Okay, well, that's interesting. Didn't know we'd be getting those guys. Alright, let's go to the server continent. Let's go. Off, on to adventure. Alright. Head on up. Head on. Up. And up. And up. And up. And up! And up! And we're on the pad! Whoa. Look at this Final Fantasy looking place. What, what? That's impossible, Master Padmon too? It's no good, Master Millennium Mon, no! Yeah, look at this like Final Fantasy, like end of Final Fantasy 1 dungeon. Okay, let's go. And we're gonna go with the same team. Alright, so I'm guessing this is this is gonna be the big everything, so let's definitely, uh, one, go all out, you know, and two, make sure we take no prisoners. What you doing, Kuwagamon? Oh, Phantomon, Soul Chopper. Um, there was a new Phantomon, where did I see that? It was Metal Phantomon. I saw him in, um, was it, uh, it was in the, the new Digimon show, and I was like, huh, that's a neat version of him. Very different. Oh, Biamon thought of a variable. I wonder if it's Bergermon. Heck yeah, it is. Thanks for the free Meteor Wing. He hates it. Alright. That's, that's okay. You don't need to learn anymore right now. That's, that's, that's fine. We're good. Alright. I want to keep my meter, though. Don't want to waste it. I mean, I have enough to heal it, but I don't want to be... I don't want to be a bit too open. Oh, I wonder what it's going to be. Answer Bergermon. As long as I keep getting free attacks, I'm really not going to complain at all. Look at him, he's like... Man, don't you hate it when bird attacks happen out of nowhere? 
That's fine. Stop that. Gatamon, you can also move up here. Alright. Let's get rid of Otamamon. Wow. That did literally nothing. And that only did 28, so it wasn't... We actually didn't do too much back, but we, we did some. Okay. Clash of these two titans here. Ow, wow, that hurt. They are a bad matchup, it seems, so let's try and... Beomon will have... Whoop. We'll have you attack Otamamon here. Alright. Oh, I see, that's what I want to see. Some 80-some damage and a dodge. Hot diggity dang. You know, let's have you move over there and attack Huagamon. Good damage, good damage. Nice dodge, too. Okay, now you're gonna... Can you dodge? Yeah! Give him the old peck. Good stuff. That's what we like to see. We did Otamon. So we're gonna have you then... I mean, we'll have you attack. Mon V Breath Arrow? Nope. It was okay damage. The fact that we're also getting hit there. So yeah, it is interesting that you really don't... Power Guillotine? Uh-oh. Oof. It's interesting that, like, I mean, I guess it makes sense that the tankier ones are, you know, not as good at dodging. That makes sense. That's very similar to logic in games. Heavier, bigger, slower, right? But I guess it's interesting that you really do want to have those weak ones that can dodge easier. Like, that is a... That is something that's important, and also you're hungry, so we're gonna need to feed you there. Okay, we'll do that. Probably with Vigramon's turn here. Okay. We're gonna go... Give you the big meat. Sadly, I've used my meat alls, which... Is still just a fun say... I just like to say the term meat all. Like, hey! What do you want for lunch? Meet all, and I feed everyone in my vicinity, you know? Like, that's cool, I like that. The nice thing is, even if, uh, Beomon is hurt here, uh, we have a full heal with, uh, right here. With Anjumamon, for cheap. A cheap full heal. Like, heck yeah, man. That's sick. You know, all it takes is being stabbed with an arrow from them, but... Sure. Um... I'll have you pop a Mega German just from a distance. Why not? Definitely want to save my meter to use a, uh... Use a really good, um... Arrow v on, uh... Whoever will be fighting at the end of this. What's he doing? Oh! God, it's Jagamon. Smash Potato! That is not a Digimon I see often. That's one that I definitely had a card of as a kid, though. I definitely had him on a card, 100%. In fact, I have all my Digimon cards still, the original ones, which is, like, really cool, because as far as I'm aware, those are, like, kind of rare. So, I never had anything really good from them, but uh, who knows, maybe I'll go back and uh, take a look one day, and maybe I got something good. Big me! Okay, so in this level, we got ourselves... Oh, hey, yeah, it's Seedramon. And, oh, it's our favorite Gessomon, huh? So, let's see here. Um, let's use... No, you don't have any ones that are good for C-types. I think that's Gatomon here. As Ikakumon, which we can use on... I want to use it on you, because you're a pain in my butt. I hate Gessomon. I mean, I guess it's cool, because it's like a squid, and I do enjoy my squid-looking dudes. But fighting you is just a pain in the butt. Didn't even do that much damage. Of course, being a water-based level, these guys are going to excel at their movement here. Right? That's just how it goes. They love it. Have you go and attack him. Big hit. 
A decent hit. You know, for a shell-based guy, his defense isn't too high, which is good, because I could have easily made him be a defensive juggernaut, which would not be fun. And give him the hit. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Idramon, you are continuing your plight through the water. Biamon, finish him off. The magical fire. No! That's embarrassing for all parties involved, but especially me. Gatsumon, add on up into the water. I do think it's a bit of a shame that there's only, like, a couple actual backgrounds. 1 HP, wow, that sucks. Uh, you know what, then let's just, like, straight up finish you off. Because that's annoying otherwise. Hit him with the smiley bomb. It's troll face bombs. Jeez, how silly. You're done. Okay. And now you gotta worry about you. Seedramon is cool. Seedramon, oh, ow. Yesomon, please do not go up and attack. Um, I don't think you can. Good. Yeah, you're hurting. Get you the heck out of there. You're safe there. As for you, pop an Anjuwamon on you. Um, yeah, Seedramon's cool. Especially because now we have, like, a full Seedramon line. Um, you know, I mean, well, I guess there was always, um, like, you know, there's Seedramon, and then, um, like, Metal Seedramon, and then there's, then there was one more. Was there Waru Seedramon? Right? There, there's, there's, I'm gonna type in the Seedramon line in Google, and I'm gonna look at it here. Also, that sucks. Seedramon line. So we have... Yeah, then Seedramon... Mega Seedramon, and then Metal Seedramon. There's also Waru Seedramon, but that's just a recolor. Um, yeah, and then there is also Giga Seedramon, but Giga Seedramon is a... It's an ex-Parasite one, so it only comes out later in the line. It's not like, you know, it, it's not like it's always, um... Like, how can I say this? Because the ex-Parasite ones are weird, because, like, they both exist and don't, if that makes sense. So, but Giga Seedramon is cool. I like him. Alright, let's see here. Okay, we're doing pretty decent. Okay, so. You up. Give him the hit. Make him feel the pain. In general. Just like, you see a good sea serpent, and you're like, yeah, they're pretty cool, right? Ice arrow? Oh. It kind of blew my mind when I when when you first learned that, like, Seedramon is kind of small, right? Compared to its its other forms, Seedramon is a small little dude. It's later on they become these massive, you know... Wow, these guys are hard here, actually. Later on, they become, like, the massive, crazy sea serpent forms. Oh, what you doing? You're thinking of Mamemon? Really? That sucks. Why would you do that? You don't need that at all. I mean, that did eight damage. Don't do that. That is an actual waste of a turn. You don't want to do that? No, no, no. Hey, oh, what's wrong with you? You gotta eat two? Jeez, I should have fed you all before I went in here. Okay. Um. Let's have you attack. Do that right now. Get rid of you, because then on the counter attack we'll finish you off. Nice. It's your turn, so let's have you. Big meat. Eat up. Okay. Can you dodge? No, you're not a dodge. Oh, you're not a dodge type at all. Okay. Alright, you're doing that. And dodge and kill? Oh, come on! Okay, Biamon. You can distract him. Maybe kill. Good. 
Okay. Now we will do a full heal with Gatomon on you. Because that's a lot of HP to heal. With the amount he's at right now, like that is a that is a good use of my resources. That's for sure. It's like, yeah, I loves it. Feels good when I get stabbed. Okay, you're attacking again. A okay, good thing it's not a crit. Good. Now you're done. Okay. Yeah, these guys are uh, getting a bit tougher, that's for sure. Thankfully, using items is clearing them up in our inventory, which, when we win, gives us a big meat. All right, so let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got Marimon, Playmon, and Apemon. Monkey go burr. So, um, devil type. I think we got two of those. Let's use this. At least I think so. He's devil, right? Marimon? He looks literally like a flaming devil, dude. I feel like he has to be. You might be too. Undead evil devil, right? Maybe. That did a decent amount of damage. Oh, look at this Marimon. He's so shifty. He's like, well, I don't know about this. Monkey is not devil. That's that's fairly obvious. You need to heal yourself now. Pop that on you. God, Angelomon being a full full restore for only eight is incredible. It's so good. It's so cheap for a full restore. You're flying up. We'll move up. What you doing, monkey? Oh, it's Cherrymon! <laughs> Cherry Bomb, okay. Alright, 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 that's pretty good, I like that. You'd think a Cherry Bomb would do damage, but it's lowering our attack, so... A little... A little whatever. Is it Mamaymon? I swear, good, no, okay. At least it's Ver Vergemon at least deals decent amount of damage. When it w if you started to get Mamemon in addition, that would suck because that's so bad. Okay, there we go. We don't need to learn that. No, we don't. But it's free, so I'll take it. Okay, you can move up. All right. Tank it, and now suck it in his melty face. Ooh, that would have almost won had we done that, but let's now kill you. Okay. Alright, you're done. Sayonara, Candle the Mon. We're moving up. Oh, he's do is he cherry bombing again? No, it's Metal Etemon! With the banana slip. Is that gonna make me try and miss a turn? Is that gonna stun? No items. Oh. Oh, that one is that one is useless if used against the opponent, like like used against uh, the computer, but means a lot when used against the player, huh? I guess this one's also good for like two on two battles. I'm gonna go up this way. It just makes more sense to not go through the water. You up? Like that means nothing to players of the game, you know, who are not. Gonna have you go there. Move up. Move up. You like it when it's like this, because then I don't have to worry. Move up. Move up. There we go, okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. He's like floating on like a flame there. I like that. That's good. That's a solid idea. And then he has like flame sneakers. I guess there's a lot of fun that can be had by making the character just, you know, be a living fire. You know, you can play around with that concept. Flame sneakers, riding on a flame ball. Like, that's cool, that's fun. I think I like that as a concept more than the actual Marimon. You know, Marimon who just is a standing guy that looks like he's out of fire. By making him actually out of fire, he's like way cooler. Because normally when you look at Marimon, like he looks like he's fire, but he actually doesn't like flow like fire. Like there's no shimmering flames on him. That's just how they animate him. He looks like that, right? So. I think that's a cool way of actually handling it. Move up. I dare you. Um, up a Magna Dramon to heal us all. Just a bit. Just a bit. Just a touch. 
those goat horns. Can you, I mean, for those who don't know much about Digimon, that is what Angemon digivolves into, by the way. You go from cat to hot lady to that goat dragon. Right? It's weird. It's very, it's a strange choice. Don't know if I necessarily agree with it, you know? But, you know, here we are. That's what we live with. But come on up. There you go. That's what I wanted. Now we can team up on you in this hallway. Alright, like that. Like, let's have you attack. I wonder if the music choice means anything for when you're attacking. I really do. It almost sounds like there's, like, ones for matchups. And because I'm bad with them, I don't know what they mean. Right? Like, this this is one of them. And then there's the other one. We'll see. Okay. And we got this one? No, same one. Doesn't mean any... Maybe it's off the level that you're fighting. Like, they're the level of evolution. It could be that. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if that works in the next battle. You win! This sounds a big nothing. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got uh, Kiwimon, Mushroomon, and Wiz Wizard. So let's go. Um, I'm gonna pop a high plug in all, because we've all used a little bit. Good to have. Okay. And you can also then use a Magna Dramon, just so that we can. Get that heal up. That does cost 20, which is a lot, but it's as cheaper than three uses of, uh, of Angewomon, so. Hit me with these giant urchins of healing. Healing urchins. Urchins of light! Alright, he's moving up. As shall we. He's moving up. And he's moving up. Ironically, the bird is not the one who is flying in this case. Really makes you think, man. Move on up. Okay. A magic game. Hey, would you like to play a magic game, he says. And I say sure, and he hands me a copy of Super Monkey Ball 2. And you go, whoa, this is magic. No items. Well... It's a good thing we used some to begin with. A metal Edemon, I feel, is a bit of a cop-out. It's just Edemon buff silver with Japanese writing on him that I can't read. I feel like that's not enough. I feel like there's more you can do, you know? But at, le at least in the show, when he comes back, you know, they, it, it, they, they animate him with a bit more swagger, so that's kind of cool. But I do feel like it's a little bit of a cop-out compared to what you could have got with, with a evolution of the Elvis monkey, you know? Alright, so that you're done. No more wizard. Doing. It's the bird attack! Oh, mushrooms hate being attacked by birds. Especially birds that are set on fire. That's fine. You can, you can keep as usual. Got him on. Head on up. I'm actually not have you move back next turn so that we can actually, you know, do something with our characters. But that did relatively nothing. So yeah, I guess it might be based on the level. Because that song there seems to play for um, the other ones there. What you doing? Oh, wow. You're... Will that re-enable items if you use it again? Is that how it works? I guess, actually, another thing about it, another thing about Edemon is because it looks like a man in a monkey suit and not so much an actual monkey, um, that doesn't have the problem with Metal Edemon, so there is a difference, I guess. Okay, Biamon. No, never mind. Same song. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, you're dead. Rip to you. Alright, Kiwimon time. You now sometimes you're at the store, you see a box of Kiwis, and all you can think to yourself is, yep, Kiwi time. 
Then Hatsune Miku appears, and you go, ah, uh, she goes, ah, sorry, and you go, M M Miku. I think about that comic all the time. I mean, mind you, it's about peaches and not, and not kiwis, but the point still stands. Hatsune Miku, why do you shop at the same store I do? Aren't... What was that noise? Did you hear that? That was very strange. Okay. That was a very high-pitched noise. And I don't know why. What I was gonna say is, isn't Hatsune Miku all of us? Aren't we all together, Hatsune Miku? So you absolutely could run into Hatsune Miku at the store? Really makes you think, huh? Alright, Kiwimon's done. And we have won. Alright. Got an attack chip. What we got here? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, oh, yo! It's this dude! I haven't seen this dude in forever. Mechanorimon! I have not seen him in... The, the dog's age. I almost said a phrase that you're not supposed to say that I hear my family say. You might know what it is. And I'm sorry that it even crossed my mind. Gargemon. Popping off with the- Oh, it's Garbage Man with the Doodoo Bazooka. You know, you come down to New York, you avoid the Garbage Mans and the Doodoo Bazookas. <laughs> Ow, okay, you're hurting. We need to heal you. Okay. Good. Be oh, does it make you need to poop? Oh my god, it made us all need to poop? Oh, that is... That's a crime! I hate it! Well, you know what? Let's start off with... Uh, a healing variable with Magna Dramon. Oh, that attack is a sin! Anything that forces you to poop is evil. I think what, uh, the poop and hungry is, they means you can't learn variables, which... Um, is not the worst, but it's still pretty bad. It also probably lowers your stats, probably. Like I said, I read the manual, but I haven't memorized it. Okay, let's have you then toilet yourself. Atomon went to the toilet, you're moving up. Thankfully, it's gonna take a while for them to, uh, to go anywhere here. Okay, you gotta flush. I swear if you make us poop again. No! I just pooped! My family must be very confused. My family must be incredibly confused. At least it's not very powerful. I swear if it makes me need to poop again. I'm gonna be so mad. Oh my god, did it actually? No, you're flushing. You're flushing. Okay, you need to just poop again. Again. One weird thing about Digimon. You're doing all this stuff to make sure they poop. The same thing happens even if you ha- Oh, good. It's- it's Digitamon. Enigma. Very strange. What does that do? AP down, okay. Like I was saying! You poop? As, like- any Digimon, including, including the Digimon that are completely human-like. So meaning that you can have, you know, Angewomon, this like six foot four statuesque goddess, and she still poops on the floor and you need to clean it up for her. Like, that's, that's something to think about for sure. Anyways, let's move you up. Thank god he's not doo-doo cannoning again. Okay, I'm actually gonna use on you uh, a high floppy. Because you need it. Not a Neo, but a high. Right? Because are you now... Yeah, 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 we're basically healed. I wonder if it works on percentages instead of, um... Anything else. I don't know. Anyways, Mechanorimon. Twinkle Beam. That's a... Was it... Was it Kira Beam? Was it- was it act oh my god, is that actually why it's Twinkle Beam? Because they called it Kira Beam, and Kira 
could mean like Kita Kita, Sparkle, or Kira as in killer. Oh my god, is that actually why they called it that? Did I solve the mystery right here and now? Oh, ho holy crap. Arjumon doing his doing his stuff and being dodged, and here we go to punch! Right in the gooch. Alright. Yeah, Mechanoimon, you don't see too much. You don't see him in a lot of the extended games and stuff. I feel like he's a very uncommon Digimon. Because uh, it's weird, because he's like a weird, almost like alternate version of... Um, he's like he's like a mix between half Gardromon and half... Um, like, uh, or Andromon and Gardromon. Like, he's... He, if he was a uh, a Digimon um, uh, Jogress or DNA Digivolution of them, I'd be like, absolutely. Like, you look at that dude, and that is a Jogress between the two of them, right? Uh, Jogress meaning joint progress, by the way. Uh, but if it's not, and it's just a coincidence, then I don't know. In fact, heck, let's do that right now. Let's Google uh, Mecha Norimon. Mecha Norimon is a... Powered suit Digimon for tiny Digimon, but supposed to climb inside of it. Huh. Interesting. Huh. It doesn't say anywhere if he is Jogris, but he is the pre evolution of Hagurumon and then later becomes Megadramon. So, hey, whoops. Everything went sideways for a second there. So yeah, you're supposed to climb inside of him and pilot him like a vehicle, which is creative, that's for sure. Alright, Gatamon. Finish this dude off as much as you can. Alright. Okay. And, oh, we're just trying. We're trying. Walking one step at a time is painful in any strategy game, right? Like, you have characters who can walk so far, and then you- like, like, look at this, like, oh man, so good. And then you have ones that are just, like, one step, and you're like, oh, it sucks! Okay. Okay, Gardramon is Dundromon. Hurrah! We got big meat. Oh, oh, right away from the start. Is it bird? It's a plane? It's Bergeron. You know, you ever look at Bergeron and realize that it has teeth? And that birds do not have teeth? Birds do not have teeth. I feel like that isn't a controversial thing, but it is a statement I need to say. We got Dokugamon and Ebijermon. Okay, alright. Um... I'm gonna hold off on those. That. You're moving up. You'll be fast in the water for sure. Okay. Got him on. We're gonna definitely try and bring him up here to us. Thankfully, they don't seem to use too many variables considering what they could be doing, you know? Here. 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 Okay, there we go. Blocked your path. Okay. Oh, no! That fish is a sh shrimp. Yep. Up here. It's trying. Digimon's trying to get up here. You are so powerful, Piamon. I don't get it. Why are you so strong? Like, your only downside is your physical weakness. Like, being not the not the best for your defense. You are the glass cannon I never expected to have. Go up. Lobster step! Oh man. Looks like we're not going to Red Lobster tonight. Hey, you wanna know what's wild? Lobsters aren't red until you boil them, so Ebby- Well, I guess he's a shrimp. Ebby, right? But I, I look at that and I see a lobster, but I guess he's meant to be a shrimp. But he has, like, the claws! What's up with that? But anyways, lobsters aren't red until you fry them up. 
So that is a... That is a dying... That is a, a boiled lobster man. So... Think, think about that. Also, lobsters scream when you boil them. Not because the steam escapes them. What a way to go! We actually, one day my mom was like, Okay, let's go and get ourselves some fresh lobster. Um, I have no idea what ST portation is meant to be. Um, we're like, let's go get some fresh lobster and let's take it home. And I didn't know they handed them to you alive. And like, we had these living lobster in the back of our car. And they, like, wrap them in newspaper, and you take them to the checkout, and they're alive and they're moving, and you're like, what, what, what do I do now? Just take them home? And you take them home, and they're alive! And I was like, this is kind of weird. I don't know about this. I don't like my food to be alive until the moment I eat it. I am, like, I'm, I'm not a, a bleeding heart vegan at all. At all. I love meat. I just had some chicken karaage for supper and ramen with beef uh, pork chasu, and it was so good. But, but, I'm kind of not into my, my food being alive for like minutes before I eat it. That was tough. Also, using the whisker to evacuate the poop from the poop chute. That was another thing that was a little whack. Definitely not a fan of that. Definitely could do without that. In fact, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't actually eat the lobster. I couldn't bring myself to do it. Um, I, I don't like lobster naturally too much. Um, I'm, I'm, I can pretty much only eat imitation crab. Um, I find lobster to be not worth the, like, I don't find the, the flavor worth, worth the meat, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, that was my adventure with lobster. I made myself salmon instead, which looked like not nothing like an animal. Not the entire process of me eating it. It was just a nice piece of meat. All right. Oh, this is a new song. Ooh. Oh, oh, are we getting a boss rush? Oh, shoot. Cool. Well, for one, oh, we don't have enough for that. But we want to use Magna, Magna Angemon for sure. Let's use a... Let's use a mm, high plugin or uh, the X plugin. How much do you have? Let's see here. You have you still have 80, 14, and 17. Okay, no, it's it's you know what? Let's move you up. Then instead, let's move. Uh, actually, let's use your turn to pop a healing item on us. Let's use a big heal. Um, Neo Floppy All. Yeah, let's use that. And then what we'll do then is we'll have, um, because we're going to be healing, so we will use Aerovidramon on you. I don't know if you count as a flying type, but you, you do have wings, sir. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was real powerful, actually. Now, Biamon, now you're gonna use the, uh, Neo Plugin All. Okay. Atumon, let's have you move up a bit. Ijumon, have you move up. What's Ogremon doing? Is this, it's also a first, is this our first time fighting Ogremon? I think it is. Smash Potato! I'm gonna up to the defense of this potato, lad. And your potato defense as well. Wow, you have really stringy hair, my dude. Um, let's now pop a Magna Angemon. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love his kneeling. It's kind of funny. Wow, that did not do as much at all. Are you not a devil type Devimon? That's strange. I feel like that should have done a lot more. What's he doing? Oh, it's Skalsatamon! Nailbone! Ali, I am the nail of my bone! No variables, but battle plus one? That's kind of non-specific, dude. I don't know what that means. 
Okay, here we go. Yeah, but I was actually pretty strong. But you're nearly dead. Move you up here and attack from the back. Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Nice! Is Ogremon going to be the actual challenge here? That's interesting. Okay. Got you. But the question is, can we get Ogremon on our team, I wonder? Probably not, but let's see here. How much do we have for the Digivice? Like 200 some. I'm actually going to hold it off. I mean, he can't use variables, which is actually really good for us. But, uh, we'll see here. Try and lure him towards us. There we go. Oh no! Bone Club! That was decent damage, yeah. Okay. Actually, move you. Ah, no, we'll leave you there. Actually, no, yeah, let's. Ah, uh, no. Yes, move you back. Move you up, because he has to kind of move down. Let's use, um, let's use this turn to, let's see, how are we doing for our stuff there? 78, you're good. 37, you're good. Okay, so yeah, you're all pretty good there. So let's just go end turn with you. End. 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 Oh. Didn't think that would happen, but here we are. Haste Meteor Wing. <laughs> he looks so sad. He's like, oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, that's fine. We, we, we don't need that as a variable. We're good. Got him on. Um, really don't want to use any of those, honestly. Not right now, at least. Move up. Good. Who are you attacking? Come on. Okay. Oof. Okay, that's fine. We can heal you. Oh, well. You're not gonna heal. At least it's A, free damage, and B, no risk of counterattack, so... Okay. Stop that. Got him on... Let's have you attack, so I want to see how much damage you do, typically. Oh yeah, we're good. Okay. You attack... Kiamon... Oh! We don't even need to do anything. I was gonna say, it can definitely survive one more hit, so... Ogremon is done! Hey. Oh, there's no items in this phase. Interesting. Hey, well, um... Start with a Magnadramon or Magna... Oh, we can, we can afford both. Let's start with Magna Anja and then do a Magnadramon. Does Monkey count as Devil in this case? We will find out. Yeah, it's, I mean, it was decent damage. Izamon might. I don't know. Um, sky, ocean. Use a heal. Pop that. Yeah, healing. He's so excited. I do want to get rid of Gizamon kind of ASAP, just because of the fact that um, if he starts using those variables, make our life a bit, bit hellish. This on the Gizamon. He shouldn't have too, too much HP, so. You're going for the water, dude, huh? Alright. 
she can play the water game. All right. Oh, hey, variable. AKA, once again, free super. At a distance. I do think if I were to be in charge of balancing this game for a sequel, I would definitely say ensuring that the opponent, or rather what I was going to say is uh, ensuring that the attacks and stuff don't have um, unlimited range. Forcing them to only be like, you know, when you do an attack, it's only within a certain range around you. I feel like that's fair uh, and would make it a bit more balanced, because then you can kind of decide how far you want it to go. Um, I'm just going to bring you up here, dude, because then you can uh, be hit by both of us and potentially all three of us. You're done. Bye, dude. Gazimon, not Gizamon. That's, that's a different one, if I'm correct. Yeah, we're gonna bring you there. Oh, what's he doing? Is it metal? It's King! King Edemon! Monkey show! I'm the monkey and this is my show! That's uh, not his voice. He's, he has, he is again an Elvis impression. Like, oh ho ho. Oh well, I wonder what it is. Bird! I might as well, like, honestly, this Let's Play has just become bird up. Bird up. That's, that's okay. Don't need any more variables. We're good, we're good. We're good, we're fine, fam. Okay, you end. You end. Monkey up. Okay. You're you, you, you being finished off. You, there, let's go. All right, you're doing that? Hey, that was a lot of damage again. Nice, and a dodge. Pop another one of these, let's go, cat's eye. Nice. Wow, you guys are, are much weaker the second time around, huh? Like, much weaker, like a lot. Nice. Even with the barrier, well, ain't no thing to worry about. All right. Win. Okay. The boss rush continues. We got Myotismon and Demi Devimon. So for one, Magna Angemon for sure. Also pop heal, and then we'll pop another Neo Flop. Well, actually, we'll also then use a um. Yeah, we'll use the uh, Arrow Vigimon on you. Look at him. Otherwise known as Pico Devimon. Why Pico? I don't know. Um, pop a heal with you. Everyone. I'm gonna say I don't think the soundtrack is super catchy for this game. Now that I've almost beat it. I think it is passable. Then again, I don't know if any Wonder Swan game was really full of jams, but uh, then again, I haven't played them all. Okay, let's go with now Arrow Vigermon on you. Don't know if you count. Whoa, what am I saying? Of course he counts. He is my Otis Mon. Ah, ah, ah. Except he is the cool vampire. Wow, that did a lot, actually. That did a lot, lot. Um, okay. Let's pop a... I plug in all. Okay. How much are we at for our points there? You're at 32, 25, 46. Okay. But you know what? We'll pop another one of those, then. Plug in all. We do want to save some for the end, of course, so we'll see. Actually, you know what? Let's go up and attack you. Yeah, you're nearly done. Look at those big ol' hands! Look at them big ol' yowie hands. 
All right. Magical fire! Oh, you're done. Bye, dude. Peace, Demi Devimon. Those are some big hands. Wow! Boy, you must be slow for you to... For 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 Vigemon to dodge, or Zero Maru as I called him. Oh well, my how the turn tables. Hey, you can't tell, but I'm looking at the camera right now. Um, it doesn't matter because my camera isn't on. It's there. It could be on, but I prefer to not have face cam because I record most of these videos in my pajamas, really comfy-like. And, uh, you don't need to see that. Okay. Bye, my Otis Mon. Win! Okay, well, I, I'm gonna guess we got Pied Mon and... someone else. Fairmon, I guess. Okay. At least we're getting fairly good battlefields, I say. Like, I like these ones. These are good ones. They're very neutral, I feel. I mean, there's water, I guess. Yeah, we got Piedmon and Marimon, so let's do what we did last time. Bring you up. <laughs> yes! Uh, you know, uh, Marimon. Go into the water. Oh, God! Fail. 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 No! He's gonna make me need to poop a lot! What a cruel, cruel dude. What a cruel attack. That's actually unfair. You, you're hungry and need to eat? We got- okay, we got enough big meats at least. Okay. Okay, let's start with the flush. Flush one. Flush two. That's the most evil attack in any video game. I cannot think of one that is more evil. One that just makes you hungry and have to poop. Which is like, I guess, the after effect of every food that you eat. Um, but still. That's cruel. That's, that's disgusting. Can, can you even use that against the opponents? Because as far as I'm aware, they don't need to do that themselves. Uh, so the last one needs to poop is... You're flushing. You need to poop. Okay. Do up. Got it. There we go. Do that. Because then they can spend the exact same turn eating and flushing. As people have told me. That is what it is. Okay, you got a full stomach. You. will have a full stomach. And... You... will have a full stomach. Okay. No more of that, because that was horrible. Okay, well, let's... Let's take... Take team on you. That... What a fool. You've fallen for my trap card, being pincered by me in a three-way. Good damage. Good damage. Alright. No! Okay. Oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> you stupid water. <laughs> stupid stupid Marimon on the water. What you gonna do? Step in that and burn? Also, wow. Okay. I see. That's annoying. That sucks. That sucks. Okay. Well. Attack him. Multiple times, even. Hit. Alright. 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 Ooh, ow! Ooh, ow! That hurt! You're actually dealing a lot of damage, dude. Attack. Let's see here. Okay, that was good damage on, on that end. 
Okay. Marimon is trying to move once again. Um... Let's pop a Magna Angemon. Just to see if that- if you- I feel like you count as a Devil Digimon. I feel like that makes sense. Clowns, you know, they're evil. They're disgusting. Nobody- oh wow, no you're not. Nobody likes a clown though. They're the worst. Okay, Gatamon. You know what? We have items for this reason. Uh, including a Neo Floppy. Pop that on yourself. What you doing? It's on all three. Okay, it's just the Cherry Mon. Okay. That's fine. It's rough and will make our life harder, but it's fine. Don't you hate it when your friend makes all your other friends' pee pee go down? The damn shame is what that is. <sighs> you can attack again because you deal a lot of damage to him for some reason. Yeah, like that. Dodge? Oh, okay. And let's go! Let's see! Come on! Okay, so close! Come on! You got him on. You got him on. You got this. You got this. Yeah! Oh my god. So got him on also goes by Tailmon in most uh, most other languages, which is interesting. Trump sword. Uh oh. Whoa! Jeez! Look at the damage Trump did. I don't know if we'll recover from that. Looks like we'll have to bide in our time. So sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, I prefer the name Gatomon because, I mean, a lot of Digimon have tails. I find calling it just Tailmon is a bit weird when there's a lot of them. And yet, oh wow, that did nothing. That did nothing. Uh, but what I was saying is, and yet he is undeniably, or she, it, uh, is El Gato. It is a cat. Okay, well, you need to heal yourself there, because that hurt a lot. But if you didn't get it, uh, Piedmon is kind of based on cards. Uh, you probably couldn't see, so Trump, you know, like the card game move, which it's, yeah. Just letting you know in case you were confused. No, it's not injecting politics into our games. Get off your soapbox, Mr. Censored Gaming on YouTube.com. Um... Well, if we have the boss after this, let's definitely use this time to pop some heals on all of us, as well as getting our uh, stuff back, so we'll use some of that. Piamon, you just stay there. Move up here. And you can... Uh, let's pop a high plug in all. Okay. Alright, well, let's move up and you can attack now. Alright. Yeah, you ain't nothing to worry about. Yeah, like that! That's what I want! That's the good stuff. Punch that fire. He definitely reminds me a lot of the Living Flame boss from uh, Final Fantasy V, which is, uh, in case you don't know, the best Final Fantasy. I'm sorry, 14 Stannies. I tried. I have no time for 14. That's all I'll say. Literally. I can't afford to live a second life. I already lived two. Third life, I guess. Alright. Oh, shoot! It's Chimeramon! Well, hot dang! Just on his own, though. It's strange. Um, I have no clue what type he's labeled as. I'll be land type, actually. Let's give that a shot. Chimeramon's so cool, though. I think it's it's one of my favorite Digimon designs. It's just all the main characters Digimon fused together. Like, Frick, though, that's cool. Like, that's rad. I wonder if he counts as, like, all the types, actually. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, let's have you move up. 
Because you're probably best to do some attack. Um, up an arrow v -Dramon. So, we'll see here if we actually end up... It's interesting that we're fighting one of the fusion components and not actually Millennium Mon. Will he transform into it after this, though, is the question. You know? Hmm. Shall we do the same strategy yet again? The answer is absolutely. Um, you know what? Let's use your turn. I'm gonna pop another... Neoflop? Ah, no. Uh, restores defensive powers. So that's restore. It doesn't do anything. Can I get you? I uh, Probably not, huh? There's like no way. At least not on the first attempt. Like, you need to probably refight this dude to get him. Well, we'll try again. We'll try here. Let's see here. Nah, there's no way. Uh, you need to heal a little bit, so you know what? Let's pop A. Just a high floppy on you. Clean out the inventory a bit. Even the regular floppies I should be eating up. That is so cool! It's just so many Digimon combined, that's so cool. It's like one of my, it's it's legit one of my favorites. And you even have like uh Skullgram on there, you have like uh Angemon, like it's so cool. So cool. Definitely one of my favorites of all time. Also, a pain in the butt to get in almost any Digimon game that you're gonna play. Wow, that did nothing to him, huh? That did nothing to him. Wow, okay, that sucks. Now the random bird is officially really bad. Okay. Good. Can't afford that. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. All right, all right, all right. What's he doing? Oh, dang, it's Apocalymon or Apocarimon. Yeah, I guess it's not wrong. Darkness, huh? What's that do? Damage? Okay, D decent damage to all? Honestly, that's kind of the least of my concerns, I feel. I feel like there's way worse stuff my man could have done to me. You know? Uh, so instead, let's have you then use... Um, we could do two, uh, two Magnadramons. Probably our best bet, because to just get everyone healed up quite a bit. Give that a shot. Well, we'll see what we're like after one. Because I am thinking of just giving a uh, plug-in to Vigramon to get back the uh, Arrow Vigramon, because that did a lot of damage, it feels like, compared to what we're doing to him otherwise. Okay, let's see here. So you're at 333. Oh, yeah, we're good now. So then let's use a... Uh, DX plug-in on you. Let's see how much you get back. Yeah, we got enough. Good, good, good. Pop that on you, because that is real good damage. And you have wings. Yeah, it's good stuff. Okay, okay. Alright. Attack. It's the fact that every attack you do also counterattacks that just hurts, you know? And But the thing is, he doesn't have any more HP than even my Vidramon, you know? He's still the same amount, it's just the stats are higher. Okay. How much did that do? 194, okay. For some reason in my mind it took off a lot more. Numbers scare me, so... Okay, next counterattack will do it, so... We'll see here. Heat Viper? Cool name. Counter him to death! Oh wow, wow! Did not do as much as I expected. Okay, this'll do it. Good. 
You defeated Chimeramon. You win! Ha ha ha! I guess I'll have to show my true power! I'll show you the true meaning of fear! I bless you from here to kingdom come! Okay, that's the real final boss. Alright. How much does he got? 333? Okay. Well. Um. Start off with a Metal Greymon. This is time to use these items, right? So we'll definitely use them to get them. You're gonna destroy her! Let's go! Yeah, Millennium on this form of him is so. Oh. Okay! Uh, that's a problem. Oh. I have some bad news for you. I don't think Bird Up will do much, if anything. We'll see here. Yeah, I love this design. This, this... Oh, God. Oh, God. Can we even hurt him? We'll have to see here. We'll definitely need to be... Poppin' healing, you know. You know what? I say let's get... Let's get onto land here and fight him from here. You know, like this. Hey, hey, it's plain cool anime theme though. That's good. Not not a theme from the anime, but uh, an anime-ish theme. Um, let's see here. What do we have for HP? You're kind of hurting. You're good. You're good. So let's have you pop a uh, Neo Floppy. Okay. Oh boy. Digimon, do we have any good plugins? We just have plugins. Okay, well, I'm gonna pop them on you to see if you can get something. At least one more thing. Okay, and let's plug in. Let's see if. As long as I can get you your, your super once, I think we could do pretty good there, but we'll see. Yeah, how much do you have? DP? Nope, not enough at all. Never mind. We're not getting that off then. Um. Pop a regular floppy to heal you a bit. And I'm gonna use that also on you just to have it so that you're, you're feeling good. Okay. He approaches. God, what a cool design. Just like the wearing the other dude on top as a soul. That's rad. Okay, so we can hurt him. That's the good thing. Magical fire. Good damage. And it's like, it's like a corrupted version of, it's basically, like, it, you can see the design in it. It is a corrupted version of Chimeramon wearing the angry soul of, um, of a uh, Machine Dramon on top with Machine Dramon's cannons. It's such a good design. And, you know, like, you look at this and it's rad. And then later on, when you see its later forms, you're like, huh, this feels really quaint in comparison to what you later get. Some of its later forms are so ridiculously giant and, like, way too cool for what it should be. Um, this form is, like, base cool, and then it gets kind of... Like, then you have Moon Millennium on, and um, you have, like, the, the Crystal version. The Crystal one is kind of, huh? Uh, but then the the, the Moon Millennium... No, Z... No, Moon is the Crystal. That one's okay. But Zed Millennium on is so cool. His final form, which we won't... I don't think we see in this. I think those come in later games and stuff. Uh, but it is a real sick form. Well, we're hurting him. That's the good thing. We are dealing damage. Oh, God, that hurts, though. That hurts a lot. He's not using variables, which are what I'm really the most concerned about. These I can handle, honestly. Okay, so let's have you instead. Oh, you're done. Shoot. Um, let's have you attack then. Because you haven't really been hit. Which is surprising. And you're doing good damage, so. Nice! Nice! You're at 107, you're at 2, so. 
You have a lot left, so let's just pop a Magnum on to heal both of you, because he'll be attacking or countering to both of you equally. I think we got this, though. I was a bit worried. Uh, cause I, when I was reading through the guide, I was, cause you have to scroll past the, uh, the story part, you know, to get to the, uh, some of the stuff at the bottom, and all I remember reading is, uh, Millennium Mon cheats, which is a worrying thing to read, for sure. But so far he doesn't seem too bad unless this is only round one or something, in which case that will suck. Uh-oh, is this where he cheats? No, he's just using a Pokerimon. I find it hilarious they call it a Pokerimon. I feel like they actually called him a Pokerimon in the original show. I also remember him cracking jokes, which was a very strange thing for the, uh, the embodiment of the apocalypse, but hey, I'm not the guy who writes the show. I wish I was. That'd be so fun. Are you gonna dodge again? Shoot, you're rocking this. I'm gonna pop another heal for everyone. Okay. I legitimately, and I've said this before and I'll say it again, I love the Digimon dub. I think it is legit one of the best things because it adds, it. like honestly, the original Digimon is good. But here's the thing, they add humor where there is none, but they keep the drama. And I think that's a solid way of going about it. I know some people don't like the jokes. I mean, one of the big reasons they don't like the joke is one of them, uh, one of the one of them says like, oh man, I remember when my brother did, you know, they crack a joke about like, oh, my brother did this, right? You know, like a dumb one, right? But then people are like, oh, but do you have a brother? And it's like, it was a joke. I say stuff like that all the time, you know, where you just make up something. You know, I've, uh, but that, uh, it's, that's like, you know, whatever. It's opinions. I'm not saying don't watch it in Japanese, absolutely. I mean, you do you, my man. What I'm saying is, don't, don't be mad because I say I prefer the dub, because I do. I will say, I do have Last Kizuna on Blu-ray, and I haven't watched it yet. Possibly because I am in no way mentally prepared from what I've heard people say that movie is like. Um, and having someone who's literally, literally grown up alongside Ty, for there to be a movie with him as an adult now, will probably ruin me. Oh? What you doing with Ma Mega Seedramon? Thunder Javelin. That's aimed at yourself. What's that gonna be? I swear to God if it's a full heal. AP up. That's just your attack up. Okay. If that was a full heal, I'd be mad. Thought he could still pop one out, though. There's literally nothing stopping him from popping one out. We'll see. Let's see here. Okay. You defeat a Millennium on. We'll see here. I feel like that went a bit too easy. Oh! Agumon! Ty! Thank you, Ryo. It's all thanks to you. No, it's not me. It's Agumon and his folks who helped. Now I can... Can I go back to my world? Yeah, I think so. I have to go back too. Sora and Matt have already returned, right? I'm going back too. Agumon too? Are you all going back? I... I... Oh yeah. I and Agumon were originally always together, so you're going back together, right? You don't have to worry about me, Agumon. You don't have to worry about that too much. We can meet somewhere again, Ryo. Right, our hearts will always be with you. We'll never forget you, Ryo. And like you, second only to TK. We'll meet again someday, and when that happens, let's have fun together again. You don't have to cry just because we're leaving. Real men don't cry. Okay, Tentamon, let's not play up the toxic masculinity right now. It's totally okay. Right, we can meet again someday. We'll never forget you, never. We're friends forever. As long as you remember those battles, we'll be sure to meet again someday. Oh, Agumon. Ryo! Ryo! Thanks for fighting with us, it was fun! Ryo! Next time, let's have an adventure with Mimi and Mimi's folks, okay? Even if you go back to the real world, don't forget us! I won't forget you! 
I'll never forget you. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Thank you, Rio. Rescued our world. Goodbye, Rio. Goodbye, Rio. Rio? Rio? I told you to hurry up and fix the breaker. Oh, jeez. Mom! What? Where am I? Home? What are you talking about? Hey, that's strange. The computer's on. Even though the power went out and the electricity's... It's a laptop! Electricity's still on. Very strange. Hey, Dad. Welcome back. Sorry to keep you waiting, Rio. Well, let's go and celebrate the new year. The new year will be here soon. The three of us should go together. Oh, yeah. I guess it is New Year's. Yep, the new year is coming soon, that's for sure. What? We haven't seen him for just a little while and he's changed so much. He's really grown, hasn't he? But we'll all be able to meet again, won't we? Who are you talking to? Well! I'm gonna be honest. When I was reading, uh, the... Because they... Uh, like I said, uh, there was a, a fan translation released for the sequel to this, uh, and people said, well, I need to play the first to understand the story, and a lot of people said no. And I thought to myself, I probably should still. Uh, wow! This is not a lot of story <laughs> to establish Ryo, huh? And it's funny, because him saying, you know, we'll meet again someday, uh, he doesn't. Well, at least as far as I'm aware. Now, that said... This isn't the last time Rio, like, Rio, again, Rio here is a really important character in the story of Digimon, but simultaneously across Adventure and then Adventure 02, he makes an on-screen appearance, like, the adventure is just like this, but Adventure 02, he makes an on-screen appearance, and then Tamers, he's a main character there, but Tamers is in an alternate universe to the original series. He's the only tie. Okay, I shouldn't have used that word, but you know what I'm saying, right? Uh, it's interesting. He's an interesting character, so I don't think we'll be looking at the other Wonder Swan Digimon game right away. I do want to look at that decently soon. If I hit continue, where am I put? Back? Hello, I'm glad you're back. This Digimon world was created from your computer. And of course, all Digimons and Dungeons have been restored to their original places. Here you can raise your Digimons and become the strongest tamer or trainer ever. There are trainers in the human world who are strong like you. You don't want to be beaten up by those guys, do you? Let's raise Digimons. So it's literally preparing you for multiplayer. Hey, uh, did, did anything happen over here? Is this literally just nothing? Okay. Um... So yeah, now you're in post-game mode and you can go and, you know, get ready to play with your friends, which I won't because I'm playing an emulated version. Uh, yeah, this game is fairly basic, that's for sure. So, that's, yeah, you got, you got some training stuff. Oh, let's go? What is this? What is this thing? Is this, is this a dungeon that I, like, missed? Are you for- are you for serious? That's surprising. Let's see here. It's just a random dungeon in the middle of town. With very low level Digimon. I guess we missed the first dungeon! Alright. Uh, well anyways, like I said though, uh, I found this game... It's basic, but it's enjoyable still. Um, I definitely wouldn't kind of pick this game up to play on my own. I feel like... How am I saying this? I feel like if this was a game that I paid for, I would definitely feel like I got a little bit gypped because of how much content there is. But at the same time, I would, I, I, would, I still enjoyed it, you know? So, um, that said, uh, we are done with this. Um, I, I don't know if there's any, like, secrets or anything. Digimon Anode Tamer Secrets. That's the best thing to kind of look up and see if there's any, anything important. Cheat codes? Um, there's none. Guides. If I take a look at the guide there, I'm gonna read it and see if there's anything as I finish the... Like, if I read here, Millenniumon cheats his variable as Mugenjimon is Apoclemon, which does lots of damage. Uh, when his, uh... Uh, let's see here. When his Chimeramon form is defeated, he turns into Millenniumon, but he is manageable. When all's said and done, 
Tai Chi is released, reunites with Agumon, returns to his village, and everyone wakes up at home. His parents notice he changed, but don't know why, and that is that there. So, yeah, that is the end of the game. Um, you do have, if I'm looking here, um, we pretty much ran into every Digimon in the game. Like, yeah, like, there's, there are 113, which is pretty good. Um, Chimeramon and Mugendramon there. It's interesting, they're labeled as coming from Wonderswan, which is surprising. AP Protein? What is that? What is that ability? Or what is that item? Because that's a new thing. Increase Digimon's attack power and decreases... It. Oh! Huh. That's interesting. Never had that. Um... So I'm just looking here. Yeah, they're listed as being from Wonderswan. So this is... Okay, Digimon Wonderswan games? Is there more? Because there's... Let's see here. There was... Digimon version Wonderswan. Oh! There is a... Okay. That's interesting. So yeah, there is a Wonderswan game. Um... Huh. And Chimeramon... Yeah, is from, uh, is from this. So that's pr Okay. Well, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Um... Yeah, because if you look at the... where it says it's from, it says it debuted in, um... in Digimon Wonderswan. Okay! Yeah, he does appear in Adventure 02, though, as well, which, uh, came after. So, very cool. Uh, okay! Uh, so, that said... Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I did. So this, this is how I played the game. Uh, when this was happening, they'd do this, and I would go like this. And, yeah, this, this is how, when I was grinding back, I would just go AI, and then do this. <laughs> like, <laughs> when I was literally, I mean, I didn't grind much, it was just me going and trying to, uh, uh, uh get back up. Like, the, all, the only grinding was just doing this once to get their abilities, right? Like, that's, that's it. So that's this, that's in my eyes definitely makes the game a lot more manageable. Like, that's hilarious. Like, they're done, right? Wow, is this just an infinite dungeon for grinding? Okay, let's just end. Oh, wait, no, we can't end. We gotta beat this. Okay. Let's just do this and then get out of here. Okay. Leave. There we go. All right. That is that. Thank you all for watching, everyone. Uh, we'll be back with the sequel uh, in a little bit, but not right now. Uh, for Because for now, I want to do something else, and it's something that people will be excited for. Uh, so we'll see you then. For that, ciao.